Hey guys, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com and I'm here with uh, a camera point and shoot and a Samsung Galaxy S4. But what if you didn't want to carry those two devices? You probably get something like this. This is the new Galaxy S4 Zoom. Now, when you look at it on, from the front, it doesn't look too different, but when you turn it to the side, you can definitely see there's a significant change. That's because this is a camera that also makes phone calls. So when you turn it on really quick, let me see if I can hit this power button. Okay, you move around, you see that it definitely has uh, Android running on it. It's an Android 4.2 with Samsung, so you've got all the other additions. You've got S Voice, S Translator, Group Play, as you can see right there. When I, I'm holding down the home button and nothing's coming up, but we'll get to that another time. It has back, it has menu, of course. But this is the real draw here. It's got 10x optical zoom, and that's what's going to separate this from this, what you typically see on a camera. So let's go into the camera mode because that's the draw, obviously. On the left-hand side, you can see uh, you, you have the zoom ring where you zoom in and out by just tapping this little ring right here. And then it has a variety of shooting modes, more than 30, actually. It's got a lot going on. Uh, let me see if I can scroll through them really quick. Uh, when you go to smart camera, you can see it has a variety of different settings. So you've got waterfall, animated photo, that's where you can create like GIFs. And yes, I pronounce it with a soft J, it's GIFs. You got drama, you got eraser in case you want to take out photo bombs, dual camera to use the front and rear cameras at the same time. Now the rear camera has 16 megapixels and the front has 1.9 and you can combine them both when you take photos. And then it's got silhouette, sunset, night, fireworks. So any anything you can imagine basically when you take a camera, it has your modes geared specifically for that. Now in smart mode in particular, that's what's going to suggest for you. So if you're in the nighttime and you, you've got a lot of, of not a lot of light going on it'll suggest you uh, how to take photos in that mode uh, otherwise it's got LTE it's got uh, HSPA plus depending on the market and it's got a lot of cool features uh, that we've detailed before but in terms of just the actual camera it feels a little weird at first just because of the bulkiness and of course you've got the zoom ring here so let me see if uh, when I press the home button to get out of here you see that the, the ring automatically goes back into the shutter, and I'm going to try to put it in my pocket. You see it's not the easiest fit, it does protrude a little bit, and I'm somebody who walks around with a Costanza wallet sometimes, so that might be an issue, but other people should be okay with it. Uh, it's got a few other features, for instance, it's got IR at the top, so you can control your TV. Got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Got uh, internal memory. I believe it's 32 gigabytes. I'm not sure, but definitely has 16 gigabytes in terms of micro SD. You can find out more information on on the site and you can get the spec list and all that. You got your micro SD charging port at the bottom. Now this is an interesting camera. We're gonna have more information on it later, but just in terms of a quick look, this is the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is a phone, as like I said. So let's take a quick look at the dialer app. Phone, keypad, and it actually has a cool feature because uh, when you're in the phone, in case you get like an incoming message, you can actually take a photo that you can share with the person on the other line of the phone. So this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com, taking a look at the Galaxy S4 Zoom. Mm-hmm.